This part is about exporting and dragging audio. To create a new file, just select and drag a piece and it becomes a new file. When it's a long piece that you're dragging, a 15 minute piece is what I'm dragging now, you'll have to wait a bit before it tears off. But when it does, you can drop it anywhere. Into the finder. Into Pro Tools, into Logic, Cubase, Nuendo, Digital Performer, Reaper, or Soundtrack Pro. By default, all these audio applications copy the dragged files to their Sessions audio file folder. But in Ableton Live you must make certain that you have checked a preference called Collect External Audio Files. You can drop into iMovie, Pages, Media Composer, Final Cut, Keynote, anywhere. You can even drop audio into an email. But this is high resolution audio that you are dragging this way. For an emailed message you may want to send an mp3 or an mp4 file. So just hit the Email as MP3 button. The selection will be converted to an MP3 and attached to a fresh email right away. And there is a Convert to MP3 button as well. This one drops the converted file right next to the original. Now, if you go to the Compressed Audio Export Preferences, you can set the compression type for the previous function. You can choose MP3. The recipient of your file can play MP3 on a Mac or on a Windows machine. Exporting to MP3 requires an additional download of the LAME codec. That's free. Snapper will guide you to the proper download location when you click on an MP3 function for the first time. The other option is MP4, which does not require an extra download. MP4 AAC encoded files sound better than MP3, but on Windows machines MP4 files can only be played back if an extra is installed, like Winamp, QuickTime or VLC. In the Export tab you can set whether you want the dragged file to be normalized, and you can set the fade in and out times if necessary. If you're collecting a whole bunch of fragments for your session, you may not want to drag and drop. Instead, you can upload to your current session's cursor. That way, you can put your cursor at the proper spot first and then spot to it like this. The next upload will end up after the first spotted audio. This feature works in Pro Tools, Digital Performer, Logic, Cubase and Nuendo. Snapper can spot files right to the cursor, spot directly after your last spotted region, or you can spot to the Pro Tools region bin. The best thing though is that you can spot just part of a file. So from this barking dog I just need a couple of barks. I scan the file, select one bark and shoot it up. I select another and put it right after the previous one. One advantage of sending audio to Pro Tools this way is that your projects will end up being smaller because only the sections that you selected in Snapper will be converted to the project's audio file folder, rather than the whole files. Finally, you can send your selections to a predefined folder. You can set the destination folder in the Export Preferences panel. I'll select this folder on the desktop. 
Now I can send any selection to it by pressing the export to folder button. The format of these exported files is set in the export to folder preferences. Now let's check the export preferences pane once more. These settings only apply to the export to folder knob. The export settings here are doubled in the export tab in Snapper's window. They apply to all files created by Snapper, whether via export to folder, create mp3 or dragged snippets. There is one setting here that only applies to dragged files. Here you select whether dragged selections will end up being interleaved or split stereo. And here's the default folder that selections land in before they are sent to your audio editor's cursor via the spot to cursor knobs. If you want to do some work in a source file, like cut multiple segments from it, it may be good to use freeze mode. Until you take Snapper out of freeze mode, Snapper will now hold on to this file even if you select another one in the finder. Alternatively, you can use the Recent Files tab here to reselect the last file. A couple more conversions are available as convenient single actions. You can split files that are interleaved stereo to a separate left and right file. Here's one. Or you can do it the other way around.